<laughs> Sorry. I just this is just coincidence. So I clicked on the PlayStation 4 uh Pro official teardown video curated on yeah. Sifted. <laughs> and the first comment is <laughs> Yeah, so Ryan Ryan Howe said, uh, this guy has hairy hands. I love teardowns. It's neat. <laughs> <laughs> and then the surly Mexican is geez, man, get some get some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> that guy does have some hairy hands that's great and he does like if that's he didn't have hairy hands that. it wouldn't be as funny but like he genuinely does he has got hairy knuckles and to boot oh Ryan that's funny <laughs> What's up, guys, and welcome to episode 25 of Podcast Reload. It's the general gaming podcast by Sifted.net subscribers, where we invite community guests onto the show to talk about the games industry in all its weird ways. I am your host, Vin Hill, and joining me, as always, is my co-host and fellow Japan dweller, Evan Piotrowski. Yeah. <laughs> and joining us as well is, of course, our community guest, and all the way from Norway this week, we have Backby, also known as Bo. Hey, thanks for having me. No, no worries, man. Um... Okay, so today we're going to make gaming great again. <laughs> oh, God. I thought we weren't going to talk about this, Vin. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. <laughs> so, well, yeah. we can have, we can have uh, great <laughs> topics. We can have, or talk about yeah, great we, games. Yeah. Let, let's make topics great again, maybe. Well, topics are pretty good, I think. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, yeah, diving straight in. Have we got any housekeeping? I don't think we have. No. We do not. No, I think last week I made a mistake. I said that I picked up a new two gigabyte hard drive for my PlayStation 4. Is that what you said? I actually meant terabyte. Yeah, I said that. Like, I listened to it. I was like, man, I'm such a fucking idiot. So I actually picked up a two terabyte one. So I can actually fit more than one indie game on my hard drive. So just so people aren't too confused. <laughs> well, I, I edited that <laughs> podcast and I didn't even catch that. Yeah, and even I, like, it was, I was listening to it at work and I was like, oh shit, I forgot about that. So. Yeah, I have actually got a bigger hard drive than all of you guys. I've got a big hard drive. No? Okay. The big, the, the biggest, <laughs> tremendous, <laughs> tremendous hard drive? Beautiful It's, hard it's drive. a tremendous, it's the biggest, the most tremendous, I'm not even going to do this. <laughs> all right, okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's been done. It's, it's been done. It's, it's a fucking rough week. Everyone's drinking for good reasons either way. So let's just, let's just crack on with this fucking thing. Um. Yeah, Buckby, we've actually, uh, or Bo, we should call you, um, we've actually got a new game and we're going to play with you this week. Are you ready? Let's do this. So basically what you do, I'll present you with two game titles or two uh, people that are known to the industry or whatever, you know, it's it's going to be something related to the games industry and you have to choose if you're going to save or kill it. But you have to know which one you save, the other one also dies and it gets thrown into the gates of oblivion and you never see it again. So you ready? Sweet. Okay, number one, Dark Souls or XCOM? Kill XCOM. <sighs> Goodbye, Dark Souls. Wow, Erebus Goodbye. Jones is going to be pissed. Yeah, he's not going to be happy, man. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy VII or Chrono Trigger? Kill Chrono Trigger. Hmm. Get off this podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh it is was that it, this is like a test it. like if they don't pass the test then we just cut it <laughs> right. yeah I, yeah i never the, played it <laughs> oh, okay that's yeah that's it uh okay next one uncharted or tomb raider oh that's easy like kill tomb raider oh man they, they started the franchise what are you talking about um <laughs> next one uh halo or god of war kill halo that's a good choice Ah, oh, you people disappoint me. Um, okay, last one. <laughs> oh, last one. I need a good one. Oh, okay. Portal or Team Fortress 2? Kill Team Fortress 2. Cool. That was a good one. It's nice nice and revealing, you know? I can't believe you killed Chrono Trigger. Like, I'm disappointed, man. How have you never played that game? I, it, it just, like, I'm... I like I, I the only are JRPGs games game type ugh, 
the only JRPG JRPGs I played was Pokemon growing up. Like I I didn't start playing them until I was maybe like 17, 18 and by then it was just like trying to catch up with all the JRPGs that came along and it just never never happened. Right. Well, you know, yeah. it's a it's a difficult choice and much like this week a lot of people were faced with uh a very difficult choice, and they made the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go into any further than that. The only thing I will say, Bo, is it's actually on sale right now. It's less than two dollars on the PSN store. I don't know if it's the same in Norway where you're living, but you should definitely go and check it out, especially because you've got a PlayStation Vita, which is perfect for that system. So, definitely recommend it. It's less than two dollars. You should definitely try it out. It's it's one of the best JRPGs ever made of all time. So, yes, I'd say. You should definitely try it. Okay, moving on. Uh, we're going to move straight on into uh, what we've actually been playing this week. So we're going to start out with the big one, which is, of course, you, Evan, because you've got a new console, haven't you? Yes, I do. I have the newest console. Some might call the it newest. the best console. <laughs> yeah, right. Like you got a PS4 Pro or some shit. What did you actually get? I have a PS4 okay. Pro. Woo! Really? <laughs> I should probably keep it down. It's midnight here. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Uh, yes. Awesome, man. That's I, uh, that's great news. Oh. I mean, it's been a long time coming. You like the last three years, you've been behind. Like, how how does it feel to finally be be in 2016, as it were? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's so good. I'm so happy. Yeah. I watching all these videos of these people doing the unboxings. Those fingerprints on that matte finish drove me so crazy that I, I have never unwrapped something as carefully as I as, as I did this PS4 Pro. I only touched I, I I didn't touch anything but the sides, and I just like mm-hmm. like a waiter with like balancing like five plates of spaghetti on his fucking tray. Like I you know took it <laughs> put it under my entertainment center as as light as possible so I didn't get any fingerprints on it, but. I'm treating it like a baby, but uh, yes, I finally have a system from 2016. Sweet. Uh, so, what uh, what what game did you jump into? What what broke the virginity of the PlayStation 4? Uh, the only game that uh, should, uh, at least you know, if you got buy a system in 2016, uh, PS4 is uh, Uncharted 4. Sweet. So yes, I uh, canceled a bunch of plans. Seriously. Uh, the day that I got it and the day after and all I did for the past two days and a, and a half I'd say is sat on the couch and uh, played Uncharted 4 for the Good man. first how, time uh, uh, how are you finding it? You're, how far into it are you? how many chapters or whatever? I'm on chapter 12 sweet oh man you're quite, you're quite deep into it then yeah I just finished Madagascar nice that's yeah. I mean, it's it's just about to start getting good for you. Actually, you think it's good so far? Oh, it's gonna God. get a lot Dude, better. Dude, the fucking clock tower puzzle. Uh, oh yeah, it was absolutely amazing. And then the the chase scene uh, through the market, and yeah, it's 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 just amazing. I mean, they showed some of that stuff, you know, pre release and all that, but it's just so good. It's um, it it's uncharted. Like Naughty Dog, these guys, these people, they just they do it better than so many other. Uh, yeah, them boys. Them boys definitely know how to make a game. I give them that. It's like when I was in, in the beginning of the game. There's a section. I don't want to give anything away of where I was, but I just I walked around for like 15 minutes just looking at stuff. I I almost felt <laughs> yeah. like the game is put together in such a way. It's so beautiful. Every little detail is there that I just felt like I needed to for. I, I it's like I wanted the 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 developers to know like I am taking the time to look at all of these beautiful textures that you made. It's just yeah. down to the very last detail. And then it plays really well. Um, I found that uh, I'm stealthing the game. And I think it's just because like ever since I played Dishonored, I've caught this stealth bug where I don't like getting mm. caught. So, yeah. and I'm playing on hard. And in hard, like if you're out of cover for more than like a solid like two seconds, like you'll die. Um, yeah, pretty much. Which kind of sucks because some of the bigger... Um, set piece moments it's like oh i'm hanging from a rope that's attached to a truck driving on a bridge oh wait i died and then it like reloads the section but whatever um it's just it's it's amazing and the story just the way it's progressing the way they've jumped around uh the characters the the places that i've been 
I don't want to give too much away, but it's amazing. And um, yeah, it's a very it's a very pretty game. I remember because um, in the settings, I was actually telling about I was telling you about this the other day. Whereas if you go into the settings, you can actually look at your stats and you can and you can check like how long you've just been standing there. So it's like gawping time, you know, like appreciation time or whatever. And I think I racked up a good two or three hours by the end of the game of just me just stood there looking at stuff because the game is just so fucking pretty. And there's some parts in the game which are, you know, they have their set pieces where like buildings are falling down and stuff and, and crazy stuff's like kicking off. But sometimes you just want to stop and you just want to look at it, but you can't because the game's going so fast, you know? Yeah. That's the only problem I have with the game. Like It's a bit too pretty at times, so. Yeah, and um, my nephew came over today and i was in madagascar perfect timing and he came yeah. over and he'd never played a playstation 4 ever he's never seen oh, it on wow. a tv and he sat down i was like what i was just just watch this and he it's just like looking at him it was like his, his jaw drops and stuff the, yeah. the, the look he had on his face was the look i had in my face the first time i saw mario 64 mm. it was it, right. it was great and i got that weird like tingly sensation in mind just seeing him how how amazed he was at this at this game and we played the entire clock tower puzzle uh, climbing section together, and he was like helping me with the, with the with some of the puzzle stuff. And like, then you know, like the uh, this you're just like you're dodging this, you're dodging that, you're making jumps you're not supposed to. You you almost get hit, you know. You, yeah. you, Nate, Nathan Drake takes a beating. Like he was just like, oh oh wait, watch out for that. Like it was it was just it's it's great. It's it's uncharted. It's what I thought it was going to be, and it's just I'm having the, the best time. The, the one thing that sucks is because I have a PlayStation 4 Pro, I've never really played the PlayStation 4, so I don't really have anything to compare. Like, Yeah, I was going to say, like we would have done a whole topic on it, but because you've got no point of comparison, it's like, yeah, it looks pretty. I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the, o- so. the only thing I've been looking for is, especially if there's like a really big draw distance, I'm trying to think, like, mm. are they trying to blur out sections of... of of stuff or like looking at like the, that's that's the that's the thing though like in the original in the uh, ps4 version the non-pro version i should say now um in the standard version the draw distance was pretty perfect anyway and like so, like the the anti-aliasing yeah, stuff know. is all top notch right yeah so yeah, it's, it's like it's i, I a don't know beautiful game um thumbs up a plus it looks <laughs> it looks good to <laughs> right. me like the last yeah. game i played on the PlayStation Three, I think, was like Prince of Persia from two thousand eight. So, like, oh god, I don't know, I don't know what you want from me. Jesus Christ! But yeah, right. it's it's Uncharted Four. It's amazing. Done. Sweet. Uh, how about you, Buckby? What have you been playing this week? Well, I've actually jumped around a little bit, but uh, yeah. So, uh, just going to ramble off. I, I almost finished with Bayonetta on Wii U. I played some co-op on Resident Evil 6 with a friend of mine, and then I just got into the intro of Seraph and uh, Owl Boy. Wow, and, you uh, are jumping around, aren't you? Yeah, you really are. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I want. I'm really curious about Owl Boy. So, like, how are you finding it? Oh yeah, please. Like, I'm, I'm, I can't speak that much. It's really, literally just like the intro. I do it's like it's. It, it, like, it, like when you go back and play old uh, 16-bit games, you sort of think that like that is what they look like, but they have they have this like trick of uh, like it's almost like it looks like the way you remembered all games looks like, even though when you go back you see that they haven't aged that well. Right, I, I know what you mean. So it's like it's it's sort of like the vision which the creators back in the nineties were trying to get to, and now they've actually they've actually got to that point where they can fully develop that. Like just looking at that game, man, I, I I've been I've been looking at all the previous stuff and just the pixel art animation of that game is just absolutely striking. I mean, I'm a huge fan of pixel art. Like I do it myself, like as a hobby and stuff on the side. I don't know if it work or anything, but man, I love that style. And just looking at that game, it just yeah, I really want to pick it up. But I don't ever want to pick it up for PC. Like it, that's definitely like a couch game which I want to play. I yeah. want to play that on my that, sofa. That, I mean, that game has to. Be, they're going to port that to the PlayStation. It's got to be, I'd man. Imagine. It's fucking yeah. got to be. I mean, it's getting it's getting nine and tens everywhere. Like if it doesn't get ported, I'd I'd be shocked. I, I'd be I was amazed. a bit I was a bit surprised that Shane was kind of like trying to take it down a notch. He seemed a bit annoyed that it was getting uh, such high praise, but I think it's because he's a bit tired of like 
these games that are just harkening back to like the 16-bit era you know like all this right yeah i mean you've got everyone's got their own opinions and like what sort of game styles they like and there's just some people out there that just flat out don't like pixel games you know like they prefer the the new and up-to-date games which is totally cool like it's it's just down to your yeah. preference i mean I think that seems a bit silly to me because i would i would argue that pixel art is is timeless and that same can't be said for for 3d but uh for sure no but that is that is the one advantage that they do have with them doing this sort of like retro style but with the modern engines it you can it doesn't matter like uh, if you like even uh, i remember when i i, I played fest like a few years after it that there was all this hype around it and i was like i was, I was literally i was amazed by the way you could uh, move around yeah, spin the camera around yeah yeah, yeah. The camera so yeah beautiful game complete so, dickhead who yeah. made it though let's be honest yeah <laughs> who is not a nice I'm, guy I'm, th- th- that didn't go go so well especially if you yeah. follow G- gt and that kind of thing but uh, yeah good old marcus yeah <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, every, but what else have you been playing man you, you, uh, I, I you said that you had a yeah, load of games yeah. ranked off so and, uh, what else have you been playing just want to give a quick shout out to manuel samuel because that game uh, i was sick last week and that game really made me laugh and I really needed it. it it's, <laughs> right. it's like, you know that game where you like, you're a, oh, what is it? Quirt? Like you're a, you're a, you're a stick figure that can barely move, that you, you're supposed to move your limbs individually. Right. Oh yeah, yeah okay. like uh, I remember what it was yeah. like that running game or whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it, it Quir- is. Quirty or something. <laughs> yeah. This game looks. But, but, this game yeah. looks pretty good. But, 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 yeah, but, but, like, but basically, <laughs> the, basically, the entire premise of Manual Samuel is that uh, you end up dying, and then you have twenty-four. Uh, you have to live. Uh, you get resurrected, and then you uh, get to continue to live if you're able to live a um, life completely manually for the next 24 hours and that means breathing blinking uh like moving your limbs and that that sort of thing and it just <laughs> Sounds starts so with bizarre. something simple like yeah this is uh, this looks like this does look like if you need a, a bit of a pick-me-up it would definitely deliver on that promise right yeah and, and like it just starting like like, like uh, i literally spent like probably 50 minutes trying to get down the stairs properly <laughs> that's good you you, sounds uh, like a sounds like a good sunday morning yeah. to uh, to evan i think yeah. on a hangover oh, I, oh. I'm, I, that's the re- I, I have yeah. no stairs in my in my place and that's specifically why <laughs> thankfully yeah because because I, I wanted to do it i would i wanted to do it cleanly because you have this voiceover guy who sort of like uh, when you play uh, stanley parable who hmm comments on the entire experience so I, oh, okay, I, I want, okay. Uh, so so if you do certain things he will say them so i i i just want just so that he wouldn't call me an idiot i wanted to do that properly and then you have to be able to put on your clothes and it just escalates from driving a car getting to work to suddenly you're in a mech suit suddenly you're fighting nice. demons oh wow yeah that end, did uh, escalate yeah. pretty quickly yeah, so it, it, oh, it just uh, it's just escalates, uh, and then you have Def, who is this like, like he's he tries to be this like cool Kanye West rapper, but he like deep down he knows he's just a loser, <laughs> and it just it just it, it, it it's it's all like it has this almost like South Park quality in the way the animations work, but uh, in it's. I don't know quite how to describe it. You've you've seen it when you've seen it online. Yeah. So this is on this is on PS4 as well, right? PS4 and yeah, Xbox One. One I, this I is guess. On every, everything. Man, this is this is such of a weird conversation. This is like he's telling me a new game. I'm like, oh, I can actually I can actually buy this. I could pick this up now. It used to be a, it used to be <laughs> like a Evan. dream. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> like I can actually yeah. Yeah, it's like you've been living funny. in a third world country and you're like, hamburgers? What's a, what's a hamburger? Yeah, hamburger. <laughs> sort of yeah, yeah, they've all turned into so. noodles. What's going on? Oh, um, God, speaking of which. Okay, yes. <laughs> uh, speaking speaking of noodles, um, Vin, what have you been playing this week? Uh, yeah, uh, this week I've actually been... Uh, stepped away from Battlefield a little bit, actually. Are you serious? I thought I'd give it a bit of a break. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, 
no, I'm, I'm not done with this sort of thing. I think, I think I'm just done with Japanese gamers, and no disrespect to them whatsoever, but just they play very, very differently to how Western gamers play. Like they're very, I wouldn't say selfish. Selfish is a bit strong, but they they look out for themselves a bit too much. <laughs> you could say um, they're all snipers, pretty much, and no one Maybe works as a team. Their, There's... their play, play style doesn't mesh well with how Battlefield. Wants yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's strange because if if I play Battlefield. Uh, quite early in the day sort of thing uh, I'll I'll get dragged into like American servers and it's a bit laggy but it's fine but just how people play is just completely different and I know like everyone out there says well everyone's always got snipers on their teams or whatever but I mean pretty much every single person on the on like a team in Battlefield in Japanese servers are just playing as snipers so but like as the night progresses sort of thing and more and more Japanese people start coming on and I get dragged into Japanese servers it ju- I just get infuriated with them, like, fucking move, stop being snipers. And so, yeah, I end up coming off. But uh, as I was saying last week, I've actually been playing a bit of Watch Dogs. And I actually finished it today. I finished it a couple of hours Is before this for the, the podcast. for the first time? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I, I got halfway through it last time and I because I just finished GTA V. And then I started playing Watch Dogs. And while it looked prettier and all that sort of stuff, I just, like the open worldness of it just thought I was like I'm kind of done with this right now so I stepped away from it and time sort of like the time that I gave away from it actually helped it quite a lot because when I came back to it I actually enjoyed it a lot more than what I did originally and looking looking back on the whole thing like it's it's not a bad game it's pretty good I mean like three quarters of the way through it gets a bit stagnant but other than that like the story isn't bad the characters aren't bad it's it's not a bad game. That's the only way I can really describe it. It's a solid like seven or eight out of ten. Sure, uh, I have probably that it's sitting on my seven point five. Uh, my PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, it's 3. it's not it's not a bad game. I mean, I don't know what it looked like on the PS3, but PS4, like it, it's it's a pretty solid game. So yeah, I enjoyed it. It wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't great. It wasn't yeah. It was, a, it was an okay game, I guess. But yeah, we should probably uh, move on. Uh, move on to our main topics now. Actually, so we're gonna kick off with our community. Uh, guest that we got this week and his topic so Bo do you want to kick us off what do you want to talk about this week yes yeah, so I uh, I recently experienced something when I played uh, Mafia 3 and uh, like I think I think the story is really great it like the combat in general feels good but it, I just got to a place where it got so repetitive that I just, out of principle, I, s- I simply did not want to play it anymore. And uh, even though I maybe could have finished it in about 15 hours, I just didn't want to use up that time to play something that I was slowly decreased, that, that was, I had a decreased enjoyment out of. So I was wondering if you guys have ever had sort of experiences with games where you're just like, you know what, I, I don't want to do this anymore because there is this sort of pride with hardcore gamers that we like we do finish games and that sort of thing yeah i mean i I can kick this straight off i mean the game i just mentioned watchdogs like i was god i must have been about four hours into that game and i was like you know what i really don't want to play this right now and i think i think every gamer goes through this but just in different different moments but yeah definitely me with watchdogs and i think that was because of the whole gta five thing you know but but how about you evan i mean you've you've played a lot of games over the past couple of years so like if you found if you found a game where you've just gotten halfway through it and you've just been like nah man like i'm not i'm not into this right now yeah actually one game that comes to mind more than others is um the game outland you are you guys familiar or uh, vin do you know outland outland uh no right, what, well let me what console was this on uh i think it was I think it was just a download only, like XBLA, PSN, like Windows oh, okay. later. Um, but okay, so I'll give you the rundown. Maybe I'll j- it'll jog your memory. It's a it's like a two point five D um, kind of Metroidvania platforming game where you use. Um, y- are you guys familiar with I- Ikaruga? Where you you can turn like uh, black or white, and if you're the same color yeah. as the e- the enemies. Um, projectiles you absorb it and so basically you can turn blue or red and i i have honestly just googled this game and i've never even heard of it are and you... it's made by the company that i work for are you i've never even se- oh, yeah i've never seen this right. that's right it yeah. published it yeah 
Wow, you've never... Well, I've never seen this before. You've never seen this? Nope. Wow. Yeah, it's... Uh, and you might... And here's the thing. Like, I, I joke on Sifted a lot every time there's, like, a Metroidvania-style platformer. It's like, oh, anything Metroidvania, and I'm in. So, like, wh- right. when I saw this game, just watch, like, a... You know, Vin, if you watch, like, a brief video, you could get the entire idea of what this game's about. Uh, but, yeah, it's like it's like Metroid plus... with platforming plus ikaruga where you can absorb the enemy's attacks if you uh switch at the tap of a button you can you know switch from blue to blue to orange i guess it would be and uh i picked it up on a sale and i played probably through the tutorial section maybe the first boss and there was something about the hit detection that was was really really off like i would just get hit all the time i'm like I did not. I'm sorry. I didn't get hit. Like I don't know. That enemy was not in my hitbox. But it just mm-hmm. got to the point, and that was the main thing that made me stop playing this game. Was I kept getting hit where I didn't think I should have been hit. Uh, I don't know. It was just. It, it was like a hitbox hit hitbox detection thing that just didn't. My mind couldn't wrap my head around like why I was getting hit. I was like, I'm I'm done. Like this game should be. This game is for me. This game was made for me. It it has my name on the back of it for Evan. You know. Speaking speaking of games that you quit on, uh, Evan, did you actually ever finish Final Fantasy Thirteen? Oh uh, yeah, and Thirteen too. Oh wow. okay. <laughs> wow. No, speaking of games that I've that that I finished that I shouldn't have. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was going to say like this is you might not have quit, but you you probably should have quit. That's I think oh, that's the, I, the point I was trying to get to. But. Yeah, but I've aside from the the uh, eleven and fourteen, the the MMO RPG Final Fantasies, I've I've beaten every Final Fantasy game, so I have this morbid curiosity or like <laughs> right. this uh, this sense of of like I, I have to beat these games. So even if fifteen turns out to be a piece of shit, I'll probably end up playing it because I kind of have to. But yeah, yeah like that's a that's a way for a review game for me. I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll play it at some point. But yeah, like this game, it's like this. This should have been the game for me, and I, I I just quit it. I was like, I can't do this. This, and I I feel bad to this day. I I I actually I never deleted it from my games list on my PlayStation Three. It's still sitting there. It, almost as if I think I'm actually going to go back to it, but I don't think I will. But how about you, Bo? Have you got like any any other examples? Like you obviously mentioned uh, Mafia Three. Like, have you got any other like massive ones? Which everyone else has said, "Oh, it's a great game," but you yourself actually couldn't finish it for whatever reason. Um, I uh, one game is actually Bioshock, but I I actually didn't end up go back and finish it later. Right. Okay. So well, how many? How many? How much time or surpa- passed in between, like quitting it and then starting it up again? Uh, probably a few years because, okay. like, yeah, I, I like, oh, wow, I, that is significant. Yeah, because like I always heard, I, I, it was the kind of game I always heard, like all my friends who who loved it, like really loved it, and it like I, I knew that it was a good game. It it just didn't click for me. And then Bioshock Infinite came out, and then I really got wrapped up in the world, and I just I felt I needed another fix after that. So I, then I just got through that part. I I, I don't remember, remember remember exactly what it was, but there was just this portion of the game I just I just couldn't get into it. I think maybe it was the hacking. There was a a, a place where you had to hack, and I, I just. For some reason, it just didn't grab me anymore. Right, you're like, that's and, it, done. <laughs> just yeah. inject the yeah. disc and throw it. But, and, <laughs> Fuck and, this but, hacking but, game. Uh, and then I just, like, I stopped caring about the game and just cared about the world and the story. And then I, com- I actually completed it, and now I'm on the, Now I'm trying to complete Bioshock 2. Oh, see. Nice. Oh, actually, speaking of games, I quit. So, Bo, actually... I played Bioshock Infinite as well, which got me back into Bioshock. That this exact same thing happened to me. And then after I beat Bioshock, I was like, oh my god, this game is amazing. I feel bad that I didn't play it when it first came <coughs> out. Bless you. And uh, so after that, I I bought um, Bioshock 2. And there's a part in that game where you have to protect the little sisters while they're extracting Adam. And it's basically like a uh, like a horde mode where just a bunch of splicers will come at you. 
And so I think you have to do it like three times. Like she'll extract Adam from a body and then you go to another section. She'll extract Adam from a body and you have to like, you know, fend off all these splicers coming at her. And then she'll go to the next one. I got to the second part and I couldn't beat it. I literally couldn't beat it. And I didn't have any bolt. I had like barely any bullets left. And the splicers kicked the shit out of me. I was like, fuck this game. Like it's not even giving me a chance. I wasn't even playing it on hard. It, just, it wasn't giving me a chance to win. I'm like, you know, fuck Bioshock 2. Like I've played two of the games... I've heard this one is so so. I'm done with it. So yeah, I quit that game. I never went back. Like how? I mean, how, surprised, actually. Uh, like how I, do you I, like I, it? I have, I have, I have the collection. So, I, so I haven't started the second one yet. But I've, I've, I, oh, I heard a lot of people also say that if you get to a point where you don't like to, just skip to the DLC. So I might just play Minerva's then, and just Minerva's then. I, I'll have to see. I haven't start. I haven't. Uh, started it up yet because i've had to finish off bioshock infinite for and i buy bioshock one first right yeah actually i've heard like it's when i when anyone puts together like a top 10 list of like awesome dlc for a for a game minerva's den is is on that list i think steve yeah. gainer who who worked on uh gone home right he um he worked on minerva's den but that's 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 a side note yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's it's weird what uh, w- you know whether it's like spite or principle or whatever. It's weird what kind of gets you to uh, to quit a game. Um, I've definitely yeah, quit. I mean, the, there's a lo- there's a lot of things like that. I mean, it it comes down to I think the one that uh, Bo picked up before on was like a Mafia Three. It's just the repetitiveness. I think everyone's got to that that point in a game before. It's like yeah, I've done this like thirty times already. Like why am I doing this once again? And th- that'll crack you. Like if you have a, a thing, like one of the things which I've learned when it comes to making games, if you ever get to the point where your player is sort of thinking about playing something else or not playing your game, then you've sort of failed. Like a, your the whole the whole job of what a video game is meant to be is to sort of immerse them into that world. And if you're just doing something repetitive, it, it brings them out of that very slowly, and you sort of realize that very quickly. But like when a game is just bad. It's just bad, and you don't want to play it for that reason. But if it's repetitive or something like that, I think that's that's the biggest killer. And I mean, I, I've just hit that recently. Actually, I've just been playing um, Metro. I've been playing the uh, the remasters on the PS4, and there's a couple of parts in them games, man. They're just they're hard to get through. And I know, like that game is is quite old now. It's about five years old, maybe a bit longer. But yeah, there's just some sections in that game. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to play this. It's just not fun. This is not. This is not engaging me whatsoever, and I just don't want to play this anymore. Even though, like a lot of people out there say, "Oh, Metro Last Light, it's a great game," but wait, which one is yeah, the second one? It's tough. Is Last Light is the uh, second Met- one, right? Last Light is the second one. Is, uh, is that- Metro twenty thirty three or something? I think it's the first one. So, so w- which one are you? Which one are you having a hard time with? Uh, both of them. Yeah. Uh, both of them run through the same circles in that respect. Yeah. I mean, they are good games, but there's just very certain sections where I just want to quit. <laughs> Because there's, I, I don't know. Running if it's down around to, trying to find a fucking mass to breathe, breathe through. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, there's just some things in them games which just is not fun whatsoever. But there's other things which are really, really fun. And I mean, in Metro especially, where it's just like, oh, you've run out of air and there's no other gas mass around you. Guess what? You're gonna die. Doesn't matter what you do, where you are, you're gonna die. Have fun. Oh, and it's like this, this, yeah. yeah, this isn't fun. And it's like, why am I doing this over and over again, just scrambling around trying to find air? It's like this is not engaging, and I don't want to play this, so I'm just gonna quit. And like sometimes I have quit. Like it's taken me a long time to get through the first one, and then when I finally got into the second one, I'm sort of hitting them same strides. I'm like, I don't want to do this trial and error shit. Like this is not why I play games. So yeah, you might have played those yeah. games too closely together because I don't know. I've only played Last Light. Yeah, I think so. I've only played Last Light. I fucking absolutely adore that game. I although yeah, yeah. like I've I've gotten into sections where I've hit like a checkpoint loop where I've I'm like halfway through air and I just kept dying and dying and dying. It was it sucked, but yeah, uh, yeah, that stuff is really. I, good. I, I'm sorry, I, Bo. I, you're I, gonna say something? Yeah. I remember having some. Like, I had a similar experience when I was playing Far Cry Two, where like I was I was so pumped for the game and I really loved the first ten hours, and then the malaria pills like and the oh, way you see, had yeah, to, that's the uh, thing. The like way, the, way, the way I had yeah, to deal with the driving, gotcha. like you had to re- repair the car every five feet, and then you had to make sure you had enough pills with you until you did a mission. 
and it it just killed all the excitement. Right. Yeah, I think like whenever you add like consumables into a game and they and you sort of have to rely on it like the survivability or whatever, you know, you're like, "Oh, you need you need petrol for your car." It's like if you were if you were playing a racing game, it's like every 5 minutes or something banging 90 down the freeway or something it's like oh you need to pull into this gas station and, and refill your car it's like man that'd be so fucking boring yeah exactly but some games yeah. incorporate that and they think it's going to be fun and they think it's going to be great but it actually just it pulls you out of the experience and you're just like i don't want to play this anymore like this is just tedious choring yeah. like well, why am i doing well, look this? at like uh, uncharted 4 and like the last of us the enemies can't see the npcs that are with you for a good reason because yeah, it would exactly. fucking there suck if they That's, could yeah it would be no so fun. So just because that one simple design decision someone made in a studio somewhere, it's like it just completely pulls you out of the experience and you realize like you're sat on your sofa being bored about one design decision, even though everything else is great. And I think Metro did that quite a lot. And to, like, it was quite unfortunate as well because it's a beautiful game. It's great. Like It's got a decent story. Like I, I want to know what happens to these characters. But then you have the moments where it's like, I'm just doing the same shit over and over again here. Why am I doing this? Like, this isn't fun. Like, I keep running out of air and just dying and getting hit, one hit killed by everything. Yeah. It's like, well, why Why am I doing yeah, this? Yeah, like, I, I don't really mind, like, the whole depletion mechanic stuff. But, like, would those air filters deplete that quickly? It's like, I've been playing Skyward Sword. Right. I've been playing Skyward Scored. Scored. Whatever. So, scored. Yep, scored. And <laughs> Nailed it. if you hold down the dash button... Like, I counted it out. Yeah. Link can dash for six full seconds before he gets tired. It's like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. I can fucking run, like, 5K. Why is he tired? Right. Like, if you want to yeah, yeah. put a stamina meter in, I get it. But he should be able to dash for at least, like, 30 minutes. Like, as a regular human <laughs> right. being could. Not, yeah, not yeah. full Amen. dash, like jog. You're right. It's stupid. Sorry. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, I mean we've, all, yeah. we've all been there. Yeah, we need to move on, but... I think we've all been there where we've hit a breaking point in a game for whatever reason. But, you know, it's important that we try to finish every game that we've got. Otherwise, we, we build up this fucking pile of shame like we always do. Mm. But, yeah, we should uh, move on anyway and move on to our next topic. Uh, Evan, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, so uh, I thought of this topic just because uh, I think Extra Life uh, wrapped up last weekend. And uh, I watched a little bit mm -hmm. here or there, uh, the kind of funny guys, giant bind guys, just... Uh, sitting down and man putting in the man hours to play games for like eight hours nine hours 12 hours <laughs> yeah. i think some people put in 24 hours into just playing video games straight B better people than myself I, even if i was mm -hmm. getting paid to do it i don't know if i could do it seriously um <laughs> probably because like if i if i had to play a game games for that long i couldn't have a beer in my hand otherwise i'd drink too much and pass out so <laughs> um, right or actually whatever monster but anyways that's that's beside the point <clears throat> so yeah just just thinking about extra life this past weekend uh made me think of uh binge gaming and gaming marathons right and so uh i would say the first question i'd have for this would uh uh and i'll pass this to Bo. how long have you played a single game straight for how many hours Bo? <laughs> The one I can remember, like I know for sure, is Civilization Five, and it was uh, fourteen hours. Yep. And I. Uh, Damn. <laughs> and, like like uh, I I had I I had to un uninstall the game because. Oh the, really? Like, uh, yeah, the, it, it got bad. It got really bad. Like so, I, I'm, yeah. I, I like w w whenever I talk about Civilization Five, I call the cra I call it the crack cocaine of di digital media. <laughs> right. Oh, so so, what about Civilization Civilization Six? Have you been playing it, or are you staying no, far, no, far 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 away? No, <laughs> no, I'm not going to play that. No way. All right. Wow. Wow. I, 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 I'm 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 literally scared. I don't because like. The game is so perfect in the way that you can play it for ten minutes. You get you get a little bit done, and then you can walk away. Right. But those ten minutes turn into another ten minutes, and then you suddenly have played an hour. And I I literally play. I literally came home from work, started playing, and went to work. 
<laughs> I think, that, I think that, that's they're normal, the worst that's, games that's to play. Day. Though. That's a normal day in the life yeah. of your average human being, right? I mean, like I have the same thing with FPSs. I mean, if I'm playing online or something, it's it's that sort of one more game aspect, you know. And and Civ is the worst for that because the games are quite they're quite snappy and and they're really good for that. We you say, oh, I'll just play one more round. Oh, I'll just play one more round. Ah, oh, just one more. Yeah, I've still got 10 minutes. It's fine. I'll play one more. And it just goes on and on and on. And it's just scratching that itch the whole time and you just can't get away from it sort of thing. That's the worst. But yeah, how about you, Evan? Have you ever have you ever had a game that you've just been binging on where you haven't been able to walk away from it? Sure. And um, like I don't even play multiplayer or anything like that that could just stretch out into infinity. Everything I've done is single player and... Uh, the thing is, like, I wake up really early, even on Saturdays and Sundays. Like, I'm just, I'm terrible at sleeping. Um, I, I, I hate sleep. I'm probably better at video games than I am at sleeping. <laughs> to put it <laughs> yeah, one way, so, like... I think you speak for all of us. Yeah, it's it's it sucks. It's the bane of my existence. My wife can sleep till 1 p.m., whereas, like, I'll wake up at, like... Same. I'll wake up at the time that I usually wake up on a work day. But anyway, so... <clears throat> I'll wake up and like the first thing I do is like I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. I'm gonna start playing video games. This is which, which, which is which is what I did today. Like Saturday morning, mm-hmm. seven thirty. No, it was like seven fifty in the morning. I was playing Uncharted Four. Um. So I think the most recent binge that I did was actually a Ratchet and Clank game for the PS3. So all those games went on sale on the PlayStation Network early summer, and <clears throat> those platinums are attainable. I wouldn't say they're easy because you have to put in the man work in terms of hours. But right. I looked at the trophy list. It's like, I could totally do this. It's not some arbitrary list where... Oh, that's that's the worst. It's like, it's fishing you oh, out. Oh, God, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, whoever made that yeah. trophy list, those guys, they know what they're doing. Geniuses. They should, <laughs> yeah, they, they knew should, what they were they doing. They should hire themselves out because I looked at right. the trophy list. I'm like, I can do this. And you can basically mm-hmm. get through the game twice and maybe a half on each of those Ratchet & Clank games to get the Platinum. So I was probably halfway through my first playthrough, beat the game, immediately started over, and it's just like, I just got to collect bolts and just bolt mine, and I just, I probably played it for like 12 hours straight, just sat sat nice. there. Um, and I loved every minute of it. Like, my back didn't hurt. Um, totally fine. I don't remember if I ate or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I might have drank something, yeah. but yeah, it was like, I, I loved it, and I got the platinum, and I, and I felt great, and... Uh, you know, like I normally wouldn't do that, but it's interesting because the plat, the attainable platinum, is what a lo- that pushed me to to marathon that game the way I did. Whereas, right, if there wasn't- so that's the reason why you actually sat down and binged the game. Is like if the trophies weren't there, you probably would have put a few hours into it. And like, oh, I'll come I back to probably would have put it down and like made something to eat, but for whatever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Well, be a human. Yeah. So, who are we throwing this off to? Is this yours, Vin? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Christ, I've just this sheer amount of games with which I've binged. I mean, the big one is obviously Skyrim. I think that's. Oh, I think everyone's been through a period. Okay, so of, of we we all that know game. that you've played that game for like five thousand hours, but oh, fuck it, it's ridiculous. How 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 long straight have you played it? Straight, I've probably I've probably done probably the same as Bo. Like I've probably put about fourteen, fifteen hours into that game in in single sittings before. I mean, I remember when it first came out, I thought, ah, you know, it won't be as bad as Fallout Three, so. Like I'll be able to like eat and stuff. I was like, boy, was I fucking wrong, and <laughs> it was so much worse. And just some days I'd wake up at seven a.m. Like, oh yeah, like your brain wakes you up, like same as you. You know, oh, I'm ready for work. Oh yeah, shit, it's Saturday. Never mind. You go downstairs, make a cup of coffee, sit down, and then you look at the clock, and it's like, oh shit, it's it's four a.m. Yeah. It's time to go to bed. We've all been there, but yeah, Skyrim was definitely the big one. But there's so many, there's so many games I've made me binge. And as I was saying before, that whole, you know, that like the one more game aspect, uh, FPSs have definitely had that in for me. Like some days. Um, I mean, what about just having, what about recently in terms of Battlefield? Like, how long have you been sitting and playing that game? Not too much. I mean, it, it's tough because, like I was saying, uh, with what I've been playing this week, it's trying to find a decent team. If you've got a team on an FPS, like you can play for fucking days, man. And I mean, absolute days. I remember. I used to have LAN parties and stuff, but I used to go around my friend's uh, house all the time back in England, and we used to go around uh, to Luke's house, and I still remember this. Good old Luke. Uh, once, good old Luke. And uh, I went around Luke's house uh, one day, and, he, and we were going to have a whole weekend of, I think it might have been, 
Uh, it's probably Call of Duty World of War. That's probably what we're playing. I uh, went round, and I went round on the Friday night, and I woke up Saturday morning, and he woke me up with a with a bacon sandwich. As a nice guy <laughs> he is, and the curtain uh, and the curtains are open, and the sun was shining. And he walked up to the curtains after I'd finished my sandwich. I was like, oh, "Man, what a fucking beautiful day it is outside!" And he and he slammed them shut. And he's like, "All right, let's play, let's play some fucking video games." <laughs> and like, no shit, like for the good. It was for the next forty eight hours. We just played video games. We just played. Um, Call of Duty World at War and that's all we did we just we just fucking murdered the population of Call of Duty players for 48 hours straight pretty much I, I love I love maybe, how I love how everything connected to you playing that game is like still burned into your mind the bacon sandwich man, it, the it closing really of the curtains <laughs> exactly I mean that that is I mean we used to have LAN parties all the time like around my house like when I was a student in um in university we used to set up like four screen setups and play Halo, you know, like four people on each screen. We'd have 16 people around just playing Halo for like five days straight or whatever, you know, like we had a week off university. What are we going to do? We're all fucking games design university students. Yeah, we're going to play fucking video games. That's exactly what we did. And we just used to have massive lamp eyes. We used to binge that stuff for 14 hours straight. But then in between the like the FPS games, like we used to play World of Warcraft and we used to have massive clans on world of warcraft and world of warcraft is the fucking worst game if there's any warcraft fans listen to this they'll, they'll know exactly what i mean like you log in in the morning it's like oh let's do a couple of quests and then it's 4 a.m it's like oh shit there goes my life and that's it's like Buckley said you know like he was playing civ it's the exact reason why i stopped playing world of warcraft because i was just too into it sort of thing i mean i had i was murdering people all day every day for 14 hours straight <laughs> That's and i was like i can't do this anymore i just can't do it sure like i've got no life right now and it, it's literally affecting my life because i was just binging it so much mm. when we talk about world of warcraft I, I i think i'm one of the few that actually managed to have a these like actually i played a lot a lot of it but i actually managed, managed tell the world to... your secrets because uh, no one no one that i've met you are, I, you're either a full-time World of Warcraft player no, or no, no, there's no such thing as a casual no, player. No, the, the, the way I did it was like like when I really, when I had like those really long, long gaming sessions was when we were at our LAN parties, like when we were like got two, three, four friend, friends at a house and just playing all that night long. Yeah. But the like uh, quote unquote single player experience of it just wasn't appealing to me, I I much yeah. prefer to play in a group, so I end I I actually ended up being way behind. And at one point, uh, my my friend literally he forced me to get to level seventy when uh, when when was that the after the, the wait, first expansion? Wait, wait, he forced you? He forced you? Yeah, it, like, yeah, he he was because he wanted us to do um, do. Um, Oh, like raids and right. stuff oh, like okay. that. Okay, no, right, the, right. It, it, it was when they started that, uh, not the dual system, but that, um, oh my God, I can't remember what it was called now. You know, when you were in the, the are arena, where you could All oh, right, like arena. the multiplayer yeah, stuff. Yeah, and, and that kind of thing. So I I played the, the an, an entire weekend just to get up to level 70. But uh, right. other than that, and I, I but I actually, f I think I managed to get like I managed to get the experience, but also get my sanity. <laughs> unlike <laughs> uh, unlike some people yeah. who I saw who ended up like missing days of school and yeah, that shit's wild. Yeah, I mean, man. Uh, like I've never done anything people, like that. Like World of Warcraft, it's a fucking dangerous game. It really is. I mean, it's a good game. It really is. And if you can experience it, I would recommend it. But y you've got to. Yeah, it's tough. Because you can really get sucked into that game to the point that it's, it, uh, I mean, when, <laughs> I can tell you, you're, you're having like, flashbacks. <laughs> it's it's hard, man. I mean, you know, when people talk about like video game addiction, like it's this abstract thing. Like, yeah, I don't think I really believe in that. It's like I I could stop playing video games when I want to. Like any World of Warcraft player, I'll just debunk that instantly and just be like, yeah, man, like we've been there. Like it's it's a dark place. <laughs> it's horrible. Yeah, like just don't. You guys are laughing, and you you know it's true. I can tell. Shit, man! If you don't laugh, you cry. If you don't laugh, you cry. It's it's tough. All right. Oh, okay. So God, speaking of uh, times. speaking of marathons or binge gaming, so uh, Bo is staying well away from Civ Six because he knows what it could, uh, you know, turn him into. Uh, how about you and uh, Skyrim Re Remastered, Vin? What are you thinking? Well, am I gonna play it? Yeah. Uh, it's it's like Bo was saying, man. That game scares me. Sure. 
It scares me. I mean, even even when you watch some videos of people like, oh yeah, the mods aren't that great, and you know, like the the graphics aren't that upgraded. All, all it takes like, is no, all it takes just, is I can't one go hit. near it. One hit. And you're I just hit. can't go near it. It's 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 like going to Alcoholics Anonymous and giving them like an alcohol free beer. You know, <laughs> it's it's like that. It's like, hey, you've drank this before and it's got no alcohol in it, but do you want a bit? It's yeah. like, not really. <laughs> like this is. I could just drag me straight back in, man. I, I, yeah, it's scary. Like, I don't even want to think about the next Elder Scrolls game. I mean, when Fallout Four got announced, I was terrified. I was, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my fiance. She's gonna fucking leave me. I'm gonna grow a beard that hits the floor. This is gonna be fucking oh, horrible. Luckily, thankfully, it didn't that game to, to the hype, right? Right, exactly. Like, I'm kind of <laughs> thankful that game wasn't as good as it was hyped up to be <laughs> for that. For that, but even still, I put like 300 hours in that game. You know, wow. it's, it's it's just. It's terrifying, terrifying game. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's weird for me. Like I've never, um, my brother's like that. Like he'll buy a game, and he'll just play it forever. Now be it. Yeah. Like he's probably purchased yeah. uh, like a handful of games since he bought his PlayStation Four. It's like Fallout Four, The Witcher Three, Skyrim Remastered. Those three games alone have They're probably big games, though, man. They are big games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he likes those types of games. I don't know. I. Like, I feel weird, like, even playing Uncharted 4, I mean, this is a bit of a side note, we should probably wrap it up, but even playing Uncharted 4, it's like, I'm happy to play it, but I'm, like, looking at my watch for some reason because it, it has to do with time. Um, like, right. I should really get, I, I need to get this show on the road because I have so many other games I need to play. Like, that's that's the, the mindset that I've always really been in. I've never really wanted to just, like nestle down and say all right so let's play this game for hundreds of hours but uh, like whatever but I, again like so for you guys like you have those games that like would will suck you in and are dangerous because you get so sucked in that it's really hard to pull you back where for me it takes a bit something else like a trophy you know like a platinum trophy that'll you know push me to uh to binge binge game something yeah. but uh those I mean, some, I've, I've got a little bit better about it now. Like, I I know, I know, like when a game comes out, that I should probably avoid it for whatever reason. I mean, like The Witcher Three, like we were talking about it before. Um, ah, that's why. The second okay, I got right, to the open right. world of that, I was like, I understand. Yeah, now. exactly. That that is the reason why I'm not playing The Witcher Three is because I know I'm gonna end up fucking binging that game at some point, and I don't. I just I just do not have the time or the life for it right now, you know? <laughs> the second I hit that open world and I looked out at the landscape and I was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not doing this. And I just turned it off. I was like, no, fuck, yeah, no. The, 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 the no, <laughs> I'm not doing it. Dangerous. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Bon- bonus because, from experience. Uh, like, I, I actually finished Witcher 3 and I was so proud when I did. Like, I actually, fi- I can't remember the last time I'd finished just such a big game. And then the DLCs came out. Oh, and, uh, Blood and uh, Wine? Yeah, and then... Wh- which uh, is like uh, 35 uh, hours or whatever, right? Yeah. It's an insane and, DLC. Uh, yeah, and, and, and I, I decided I'm going to wait until both are out. So I did that. I booted up the game. And then suddenly, not only did I have uh, those two new, new DLC quests, CD Projekt Red had just flooded the game with free DLC that I didn't know about, so suddenly uh, my quest tab, my, my, suddenly my quest tab was full again. So I had to, so I ended up playing ten hours without touching, without touching the DLC. CD Projekt Red, how dare you? How, <laughs> how, how dare you do that? How dare it's you like advertising to Alcoholics game. Anonymous, you know? Yeah. How dare you give a free good project? Anyway, yeah, we should, uh, we should probably move on. Actually, uh, coming up. To ah, actually, yeah, we've got a uh, we've got a new game for your wish list, Evan. Uh, even though you do have your PlayStation Pro, we're actually going to continue on oh, but, trying uh, to give you recommendations. But like, th- yeah, this is all stuff I could actually just go out buy and come home and actually play now. <laughs> you could play right I now. I know it, it right sounds now. like a, it sounds like a daydream, right? It's actually really we- weird to wrap my head around this whole owning yeah yeah something that wasn't made <laughs> like ten years ago thing. It's it's very very strange to me. I almost. Still don't believe it. Hey, man, in less than three weeks, you'll be able to play The Last Guardian. Oh, God. Along with everybody else. That. Insane. I, I still I, Right, yeah. exactly. And we're going to be able to talk about the same game at the same time. Yeah. It's going to be insane. Yeah, tomorrow will be It's going like- to be hard for me to get used to. Like, we're 25 episodes in, and this is the first time we've actually been able... I mean, you're playing Uncharted 4, but... Yeah, it's still months old, weeks, yeah. We'll, we'll, no, that... that, we'll that uh, 
that week will be will, will be the small one. This one topic. <laughs> small one. <laughs> small one. Yeah, half an hour talk. Last Guardian. Yeah. That would be great. All right. But yeah, speaking of uh, games that you can add to your wish list, actually, uh, we have got this week, uh, it's actually from me because I, th- uh, I think we've run out, actually, on Sifted. A lot. People haven't been sending me messages. I'm upset. I'm, I'm really <laughs> I'm really angry. So everyone should send me more suggestions because we're going to keep doing this until the end of the year. So this week, I've actually got one from myself. And this week, I am going to recommend Shadow of Mordor. Have you played this yet? I have not. Cool. Uh, the PS3 version is a total travesty. Don't go near it. It's like Dragon Age all over again. Well, I mean, they don't, they don't even have the, the system in the game that makes it what it is, right? Exactly. The Nemesis yeah. system is not in the PS3 version, which is ludicrous. So um, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is the full title. Delivers a, din- a dynamic game environment where the player orchestrates their personal plan of vengeance as they bend Mordor to their will. The game begins on the night of Sauron's return to Mordor. Players become Talion, a ranger who loses his family and everything that he holds dear, only to be returned from death by a mysterious spirit of vengeance as talion's personal vendetta unfolds players uncover the mystery and spirits that compels him discover the origin of the rings of power and confront the ultimate nemesis so from uh one to ten what is your sort of hype for this game all right so i followed this game when it first came out and uh mm-hmm. got a couple game of the year nominations and awards in that when it came out um i would say it's like six out of ten Here's the thing. Really? Here's the weird thing, though. I do want to play it, um, mm-hmm. and I've heard it's one of the better PlayStation 4 Pro games to play. Yeah, that's that was another reason why I wanted to recommend it because it's got the uh, enhancements and stuff, right? They've been they've patched it in. So a six, uh, I'll I'll change it to a seven. So uh, the 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 style of game it is, it's like what would it be? It's like Assassin's Creed meets um, some other game. It, it's actually really similar to the Arkham games. Ah, that like, okay, yeah, not, that that's a good not, one. Not, yeah, I like I I pretty much ended up playing like pretending almost to be Batman the way I would have when I played the Arkham games. Okay, because okay, cool. that's a perfect it's, comparison. It's, actually, it's, it's yeah. so similar. Which which yeah. those games I I really really enjoy. Um, I I, haven't, yeah, I I mean it's the one thing which i will say about shadow of mordor it's one of them games where if you look at like a press release or you look at some screenshots or even a trailer or anything like that um it looks it it doesn't look as good as it feels to play like it once you get into the rhythm of the game and you're playing it and you and you've sort of unlocked quite a few abilities and stuff it feels fucking awesome and it's a lot like bo said it's it's like batman in a respect like once you get the hang of it and you're like executing like a bunch of guys it's it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so, so so here's the thing about this game. Yeah, like from what I've seen, it looks like I said six and I changed to seven. Let's say six point five. But I bet you, <laughs> right. I bet you, when I play it, it'll jump immediately. Right. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened to me actually. Because I'm a I'm a huge Rings fan as well. Lord of Rings is my favorite uh, movie of all time. Oh, I mean, I've read um, I've read all the books. Yeah, I'm from. Yeah, like the books are some of my favorites as well. Um, yeah. And I wasn't even that hyped about it, but the second that I started playing it and you get into the rhythm of it, it, it just becomes this whole different thing. And it, so it grabs, it gets the hooks into you, you know, like it's actually a really good game. So I would definitely say uh, grab it if you can. Like if it's on a sale or something, well, it's got to be cheap. Don't hesitate. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's been out for a few years now. I think the second one's probably going to get announced. Um, at this E3 coming up. Oh, really? I, I, okay. I actually well, predicted. I, I will definitely. I actually predicted that it was going to come out last E3, but it didn't. It didn't actually get called out. So. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's on its way. So. Well, I will yeah, definitely. Uh, I'll definitely play it before next E3. I'm, I'm sure, unless a bunch of games come out next year before that, will Whatever. I'll, I'll. I'll play it. I'll, I'll play it at some point. It, it is a game that I do want to yeah. get around to, for sure. That's why. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm sure. Like if. If it pops up on a sale and it's it's down to like oh, less God, than twenty dollars yeah. or something, I would yeah. I mean, grab it. It's it's, it's a great experience like, and it's it's quite a lengthy game as well. You can put about twenty hours into it if you really if you really get into the whole trophies oh, and stuff. And actually, I know you are so right. Actually, Vin, I, I would I would almost predict because they have the uh, ten years of uh, PlayStation Network Store going on right now. Oh yeah, the sale. Yeah, yeah. the sale. If anything, like what, especially with the PS4 that just uh, PS4 Pro came out. And how optimized yep. that 
that game has become for the pro. If they sh- that like I almost guarantee that's going to be one of the the sale items within yeah, the next be around, couple of weeks. Yeah, that'll be around probably in a couple of weeks. I can imagine, yeah. If it is, definitely. I'll definitely pick it up, yeah. Sweet. So uh, coming up to the end of the podcast now, I just want to say a massive thank you to our guest, uh, Bo. Thanks for joining us, man. It's been really cool to have you on. Yeah, thanks for having me on. It's been fun. No, no worries, man. Um, so we're actually going to close out with any uh, final thoughts and any goodbyes we got. So uh, Bo, have you got a Twitter handle and any plugs that you've got, man? Uh, Twitter handle at backb b a c b i and uh, not really don't really have any plugs other other than Fair that. Play. But you hang around on Sif, dude. You like you were yeah. one of the original members, right? So yeah. I, th- I think you were there. Were you there in the beta, like right at the beginning? Yeah, I was there. I was really nice. There. I, 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 I pretty much just waited and hoped that Shane would return in some way, shape, or form because after yeah. he left GT, it just wasn't the same. Okay, cool. So how about you, Evan? What is your Twitter handle and any sign-offs that you've got? You can catch me at the stand user on Giant Bomb Twitter and um, Twitter. sifted.net. And uh, I missed the deadline for TurboGrafx Thursday. <laughs> Thursdays. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Turbo graphics, whatever day. Actually, I've, I've only ever released one episode on a Thursday, so at this point, it's a joke that I keep calling it Thursdays, <laughs> and I'm just gonna continue. I'm just gonna release it whatever fucking day I, I get the, the shit, man. I read them. Yeah. I, I actually enjoy them, so the, keep them up. If anything, there's one person, Curious Conjurer, who said, "I'm starting to get interested in, in possibly checking these games out. I'm starting to. That's all the matters, man. Starting you, you to plus one. possibly is enough for me." to fucking put coal on the fire and get this thing pumping so i will have the awesome. turbo graphics thursdays out at some point in the n- <clears throat> in the near future i can't even get that out you know in like the next in like five years time you're gonna look back on this episode and be like oh man can you remember how trivial that was like we were talking about turbo graphics 16 and like in five years in the future you got this youtube channel that has got like 20 million hits or something turbo graphics 16's come back because of you yeah. and like the company gets huge and it's bigger than google or some shit that'd be hilarious that's exactly what i was aiming for when i started this that's the plan yeah that is the plan yeah. how about yourself cool so yeah you can find me at twitter i am at vin hill art you can find me and some of my finger paintings on there from time to time um you probably find some political stuff on there, though, recently. I apologize for that, because it's a, it's a tense time, as they put it. Yeah, well, so, uh, yeah. you're moving to the States. I'm not, so. Yeah, I mean, that that is the reason why I'm sort of making myself heard, as you could say. Uh, yeah, I will be moving to America, like, next year, so, yeah, I've got, I've got, some, I've got some things to say. Uh, but other than that, you can find me on Sifted, of course, always uh, arguing with Nintendo fanboys, as I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm praising The Last Guardian, even though it's not out, because I'm a bit of a hypocrite <laughs> in that respect. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, come and find us as well. We're, uh, the, the actual podcast is on Twitter now, so you can come and follow us. We are at uh, podcast underscore reload. You can come and uh, keep track of us, what we're doing. We'll post up all the new episodes that are coming out on there they're always pinned to the top so if you if you want to keep track of us we're on that we're also on, on itunes as well so you can go on there and give us a nice review or something if you wish you don't have to you can just listen to us that's great as well don't actually know how many itunes sort of viewers we've got but yeah. we're on there if you've got an iphone or something it's much easier for you but other than that just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been listening this week and if you do want to join us on the podcast because our guest list is pretty thin right now you can uh, message me or Evan on Sifted or you can tweet us at Twitter of course and let us know that you want to be on, on Twitter and we will get you on the show as soon as we can because our list is pretty thin but also if you do want to uh, put in any requests for me to say for Evan's PS4 wish list, then also message me on Twitter or on sifted and i will get onto the show and i'll give you a, a, a nice shout out for it as well so again thank you very much guys for listening and we will catch you guys next time ta-ta go pro go home everyone i don't want to hear any of this fucking bullshit <laughs> ps4 pro, vanilla go. bullshit that wasn't make gaming great again make gaming great again make gaming great okay. Yeah, well, like I said...
All right. Ah, uh, good stuff. Fucking hell, it's 1 a.m.